Welcome to Nimsys Tech. Today we are going to discuss about short data type. This short data type belongs to integer data type. In integer we have subclassified the data types. Those are all short integer again one more that is long. So in the short data types it will going to provide two bytes for the values. Okay. So here you can able to see one byte is equal to eight bits. Again, one byte is equal to eight bits. Eight bits plus eight bits is equal to 16 bits. Totally two bytes of memory, we will going to get it. Again, one byte is equal to, see here, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. Each number indicates one bit. Zero, one bit, zero, one bit, zero, one, one, one bit, one, one bit, zero, one bit, one, one bit, zero, one bit. Again, one, one bit. So totally, it is totally one byte. In short time, we have, again, it is subclassified like a signed short, again, unsigned short. Okay. Signed is nothing but it will going to hold both the values that is positive values as well as negative values. Nothing but, so I mentioned very clearly, short provides two bytes of memory to store the data. So when it comes to unsigned short, it only holds positive values. Again, it will provide two bytes of memory. Short type will going to provide two bytes of memory, but unsigned only positive values. Signed both positive or negative values will be stored. So that is the reason why I made very clear in the previous video saying that. So when you mention the integer, it will take positive value as well as negative value. So basically by default, whatever the, suppose example, for example, if I declare a variable like this, short a is equal to some value, 10. So by default, impl implicitly it will says that it is a uh, signed type. Okay, short. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this one implicitly it will understand it is a sign. If you want to say this one unsigned, you must mention unsigned, unsigned short A like this. This is explicitly we will go to mention this short data type is a unsigned type. Okay, if it is signed type means no need to mention. If you mention, no problem. It doesn't matter. But implicitly it will understand by default it is a signed short. Okay. Again, what is the maximum range of this short type? Okay, so basically maximum range is if I enter the values like this. Suppose if I enter the values in these bytes, sorry, in these bits. Suppose if I enter here, zero, zero everywhere, in everywhere. Okay, if I mention zero, zero everywhere. Okay, everywhere like this. Okay, if I mention zero, zero. Okay, so zero. Here also I will go to mention from here to here, zero, zero. So like this, I will want to mention zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. So this is the minimum value in the short type. Okay, so like that if I mention in all these zeros, okay, so if I replace the zero with one, okay, so that is the maximum value. Okay, so for, to calculate that one, what we have to do? So two to the power of basically uh, the base is two, two to the power of eight. Okay, so that's why one byte is equal to eight bits plus eight bits. So add the exponential. So what you're going to get it here? If you add the exponent two to the power of 16, when you calculate this one, you're going to get the answer that is 65,000 65,536. So this is the value we're going to get in. So this is the maximum value it can hold. Okay. So the minimum value is zero. Minimum value is zero. This is minimum. Okay. Again, maximum is this. So when it comes to unsigned. Okay. So we'll going to see that one. 
uh, how to uh, understand this uh, how to uh, execute in the uh, ides okay let's see this here i will want to say suppose i wanted to understand the range of the short type okay that's why we have a keyword that is called it as i will show you printf printf okay here what i am going to do basically if it is signed okay if you say if it is signed so i will going to mention the format specifier that is percentage d again we have to mention the uh, function okay that is in upper case that is shrt underscore minimum value okay so basically signed and uns uh, signed unsigned i will, i am telling so when you mentioned like this this is belongs to signed value implicitly it will going to understand it is a signed value i am talking about signed value again same thing i will going to copy this one just i will going to paste under this so i mention next line here okay so next line here again here mention next line now i will going to mention max here okay minimum and max sorry everything should be in the upper case okay now please execute this one so build it again run it you can able to see in the sign what is the minimum value that is 32768 again when it comes to maximum value in the signed data type that is 32767 again one more thing we need to understand what is the maximum value basically we understood minimum value is zero if i mention all the uh, if i mention zeros in all those bits okay that is minimum value is zero we will going to see the maximum value print f sorry so just i will going to copy this one so what i will going to do i will going to mention u over here it indicates unsigned okay unsigned short okay so here i will going to mention u again here i will copy this one again i will going to say i will going to paste under this just mention next line here next line so now you see so this is a minimum and this is max so basically minimum we know that very clearly it is zero so no need to check that one so please comment that so build it and run it you can able to see now so for unsigned so this is i am talking about unsigned okay 65535 so that is the maximum value we can able to store so minimum value if it is signed 32768 that is negative 32767 that is positive values that is what signed and unsigned is nothing but signed will going to store both positive and negative values but when it comes to unsigned it will going to only stores positive values again we will going to understand about the uh cycle we will going to understand about the signed and unsigned cycle now here you can able to see this one how to declare this short type so that is very very important we will going to see that one so in the signed declaration i will going to declare these things so i like that you have to mention the data type that is short again a so this is your variable this is one type of declaration again you can able to declare short integer a this is also one type again signed short a this is also one type you can able to declare like this signed short integer a so from here to here it will going to describe about the data type okay so sub type of the data type so here it will say that short means it will going to occupy two bytes again it is a integer type so the data whatever the data you will going to store that is integer type signed is nothing but it will going to say you can able to store positive as well as negative values here also same thing it indicates very clearly all these things we here whatever the things we have declared here short a this is implicit by default it is a signed one 
again short integer a by default it is signed one but i declared here very clearly signed signed like that explicitly i mentioned very clearly it is a signed type okay i am making a condition here you must you have to say like that okay so if you are uh, doing any kind of projects you have to mention sign like that so for these things what is the format specifier nothing but placeholder that is percentage d you have to use it when you declare such kind of data types like this in the short for example in the unsigned declaration you can able to see unsigned short a again unsigned short integer a like this you can able to declare so here you must mention unsigned explicitly then it will understand it can store only positive integers so for example go to the mobile number mobile number will not going to have any negative integer it is a positive integer so account number no negative integer then you have to mention that very clearly so like this for example i will going to show you this is the cycle i will show you for example uh, take like this unsigned unsigned a uh, short a uh, integer a so that is equal to you can able to store like this suppose uh, uh, account number uh, 2006954582 78 like that so this is an account number okay? you can able to see this one so this is very very uh, it consumes a lot of bytes okay that is the reason why you have to mention it is unsigned as well as one more important thing there is no negative value in this okay so there is no negative that is the reason why you have to mention very clearly it is a unsigned type okay so this is what you need to understand let's see the cycle so the cycle is very very important here see this is our cycle so this is very very important please understand this one here that is what we mentioned in uh, previous uh, example so here you can able to see the this is the, our signed cycle okay so that is short okay this is belongs to signed circle that is belong to type is short okay so short circle so what is the placeholder we have to use that is percentage d is nothing but format specifier okay again one thing you need to understand here the range for signed i told you and i executed that one it is 32768 to 32767 because it will going to hold both positive as well as negative values see here in this cycle they have divided like this okay in this cycle they have divided like this 0 1 2 3 4 up to 32767 if you move further so if you calculate 32000 if you consider this one as a positive what it will going to happen basically it will going to end up with 32768 as yes, 32768 okay here so if i follow this one what happens from here up to what is the 65556 okay so this many values will be there in this particular cycle basically that is belongs to unsigned okay in this sign when you divide 65556 okay so when you divide that one it will become half of okay here you can able to see from 0 to 32767 this is a positive cycle again here also you can able to see minus 1 to 32767 this is belongs to positive direction cycle again this is belongs to negative negative direction values so here you can able to see from minus 1 to Minus thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-seven. So these are all negative directed values. Okay. So whatever the values comes under in this negative direction, all those values can be printed. So whatever the values will comes under positive direction from one to sorry zero to thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-six, seven hundred sixty-seven, all those value will be printed. Okay. For that example, you can able to see. So we he mentioned short a is equal to ten percentage d. This is a positive. number so this is comes under positive direction okay in this cycle it is under positive direction so 10 is available here somewhere 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 maybe over here so it will going to print that one suppose if i mention the value okay suppose if i mention the value suppose if i update the value like this x is equal to 32769 okay what is the value of a then so now we need to understand very clearly about this one so when i mention when i update the value x value so what happens here you can able to see 32767 again 68 you can able to see 68 but again you can able to see 
again one more if when it comes to year just i will going to write here don't worry okay here so 67 32767 we will going to have here 32767 minus that is minus okay so 32767 32768 so but we have 32769 there is no value over here in the positive uh, positive direction cycle so that's why 32767 68 69 okay 69 what is the value is available 32767 so the answer will be minus 32767 you will want to get it so this is the idea we need to understand in this particular cycle we will want to see the uh, uh, details about this one in the real programming let's see that one we will want to see let me write a program here so integer okay sorry i will want to take the short i'm sorry short okay let's take a value that is x uh, some value we give positive value that is 10 so i will want to print this value print f yeah percentage d again comma so i will want to mention the value of x so that is variable name i will want to mention that is x so here you can able to see when i see this x value this x value comes under this cycle yes or not this x value comes under which cycle here you can able to see this one very clearly so it is under positive direction yes or not you can able to see this one so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 so this is under the positive direction so the range here uh, when the uh, signed uh, when it is comes to sign circle so the range is uh, for the positive values that is 0 to 32767 for negative values for minus 1 to 32768 so these values we can able to store so i have mentioned 10 over here okay i mentioned 10 over here so that is in the cycle positive cycle so that's why we can we can able to execute this one so build it again run it let's run this so you can able to see the value of x is equal to 10 we are getting okay suppose if i mention so based on this uh, cycle if i mention 32767 here 32767 if i mention 32768 what will be the answer we should get the answer that is minus 32768 let's see that one so let me update the value so that is uh, x is equal to uh, 32767 so one minute 767 what i will going to do i will going to make 768 okay so i am updating the value now so what is the value we will going to get it let's see so now see minus 32768 Eight we are getting. So this is the reason why this cycle will be helpful to you, so that we can able to understand how the cycle will going to work. And the sign cycle will going to work. We can able to understand. Suppose if I mention the value here, if I mention the value, uh, something like if I mention minus one, okay, minus fifty uh, five. So I will going to remove this one. so now it is a negative value so basically this value is available in the cycle you can able to see so minus 1 2 3 4 of in the negative cycle uh, negative direction so these values are available so minus 55 it will going to print yes or not you can able to see so build it and execute it see 55 is coming but suppose if i write so according to the cycle minus 32768 8 is there so this is my range in the negative uh, numbers okay in the sign uh, suppose if i mention 32710 32768 69 if i mention uh, i will going to update the value of x uh, x is equal to 32700 
6970 i will want to mention so what will be the answer we have to get the answer you can able to see so i given the 70 68 67 68 sorry 69 70 we have to get 32766 let's see that one so build it and run it now yeah so we can able to get this one this moment sorry we made a mistake please mention so we have mentioned 32770 that is positive value i i made it negative because when you see the cycle here so we have 32768 768 769 again 70 32770 is nothing but 32777 that is uh, i mentioned minus 32770 so you can able to see minus 32770 nothing but it will going to calculate after this value minus 32768 after this value it will going to calculate this one okay 6970 like that so that's why you will want to get the answer, build it and run it. You can able to see 32,767. This is how you need to understand about the signed circle. So we're going to discuss about unsigned. So when it comes to unsigned circle, so here you can able to see unsigned circle. Only here you're going to have a positive direction as well as negative direction in the cycle. So please, uh, this is po not positive. This is negative. This is negative. Please uh, adjust it. So I will want to move this one. Just a moment. So this is not positive. Please, this is negative. Okay, so this is negative direction. So this is negative, please. Thank you. So here yeah, in this cycle, we can able to see positive as well as negative. So here, uh, the positive values uh, starts from 0 to 65,535. So this is our range of signed cycle. So here we have to use the placeholder that is percentage U. This is belongs to signed circle. So when you go to the signed circle, so whatever the value, suppose if you mention 0, it will going to print. If you mention 10, it will going to print 20, 50, 100, whatever it may be. After this, 65,535, if you print, it will going to print that one. If you mention 65,536, what it will going to print? It will going to print the value 0. If you mention 65,537, it will going to print 1. So like that, it will going to... Uh, work in the circle we will going to understand a sample program you can able to see you have to mention unsigned explicitly so short is equal to minus four nothing but it will going to calculate from this side because it is a negative value so that's why zero okay so minus one minus two minus three minus four that's the reason why sixty five thousand five hundred thirty two it will going to print it that's what exactly you can able to see so if I update the value 65,538, that's what I told you, 6535, 36, 37, 38, it will want to print the value that is 2. So like that, you can able to understand this one very easily. Again, one more problem we have, you can able to see this one here. So here, what I'm going to do, I will going to update the value x is equal to minus 32,772. That time, what it will going to do? So that is a small question over here please calculate that one we'll want to see that one right now so here so in the in front of short we'll want to mention explicitly unsigned okay unsigned short okay nothing but it will going to hold only positive values so that's why what i'm going to do according to the cycle you can able to see this cycle according to the cycle the final value is 65535 i'm going to mention here 65000 535 this is a my range of the shot okay when you print this one basically we can able to print this one print f okay so here we have to mention percentage u because it is a sign unsigned values okay come on so just you mention the variable name that is x semicolon so update now you can able to see same value we are getting suppose if i increment the value so what i will going to do i will going to increment the value how to increment the value so that is x plus plus i will do so what happens what is the value we have to get it basically we are the our range is 0 to 65535 so plus i will going to add one what is that 36 what is the value you're going to do? basically according to the uh 
according to the cycle we have to get the zero let's see that one build it and run it you can able to see zero so again if you increment so what i'm going to do so let me write like this x is equal to x plus 2 i will want to increment the value 2 okay so x value is what 65535 plus 2 let's see what is the value you going to get i will going to get the value 1 like that so when you do this one immediately it will want to print those value so what i am going to do just a moment so when i increment this one so what happens here you can able to see zero so if i increment the values if i go a little bit further if i increment the values further again and again what happens it will going to consecutively it will want to start printing the values one after the other so suppose if i increment once again what you will going to find you will going to find the value that is one one and two okay see here you can able to see before and before we are getting zero again now we are getting a yeah, one again i will going to increment one more time again you will going to get the value two so like that it will going to be incrementing if you start decrementing this one if uh, otherwise uh, see when you go to the cycle here yeah, when you go to the cycle so this is zero so minus one is nothing but what 65535 okay if i mention minus one suppose if i mention here minus one what is the answer we will want to get let's see that one okay if i get if i write minus one here suppose if i write minus one You can see 65,535 you will want to get it. Again, if I write a minus 2, okay, so what is the value you will want to get it? So 65,534. So that is what exactly you can able to see. So like that, so in this cycle, so when you say uh, minus 1, it will want to print this value. When you say minus 2, it will want to print this value. Minus 3, it will want to print this value. Minus 4, it will want to print this value. So this is free. completely, it is belongs to unsigned circle. That is, we have to use the placeholder. That is percentage U. So this is all about short type unsigned circle. So thank you. Thank you very much.